And just what's going on in the Indian Navy? That was the question being asked after yet another naval mishap took place early this morning. But hours after the accident on board the INS Sindhu Ratna, the Navy Chief DK Joshi resigned. This happened about a couple of hours back, taking moral responsibility for the spate of mishaps. There have been almost 12 since August involving submarines and warships. The resignation of Admiral Joshi, who himself is a specialist in anti-submarine warfare, came after Defence Minister A.K. Antony briefed President Pranab Mukherjee, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Vice Chief of Naval Staff, uh, Vice Admiral R.K. Dhawan will now take over as the acting chief on top of news are tonight. Vice Admiral P.J. Jacob, former Vice Chief of the Navy, Vice Admiral Kailas Joshi, former Vice Chief of the Navy, and uh, Commodore Uday Baskar, my first question is to you, sir. Were you surprised, Commodore Uday Baskar, when this news came out? And uh, what, who really does this help, uh, you know, just the resignation? Yes, I was indeed surprised when I heard the news on television about Admiral Joshi's resignation right. and the fact that the government had also accepted it. Yeah. But at the same time, I would characterize it as a decision that is in keeping with the highest tradition of the service, that given the spate of incidents from August last year to now, he took the moral responsibility and I cannot recall after Lal Bahadur Shastriji's resignation in 1964 as Railway Minister yeah. that any senior leader or official in our country has accepted personal moral responsibility for an institutional lapse. Yeah. I think this integrity and resolve yeah. is something that needs to be recognized. Yeah, surely. That's Arnab? appreciated. That's appreciated, Comrade Oday Baskar. But, 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 but Vice Admiral Kailash Kohli, uh, who really does this help? You know, there have been... Uh, there have been so many incidents beyond moral responsibility. My question to you is 12 incidents in seven months. Is this normal? No, I don't think it's normal at all. It never has been normal. Uh, accidents are supposed to be rare rather than so frequent. Yeah. And they should be minor rather than major. But yeah. what we have been witnessing in the last few months has been something beyond what should normally happen in a Navy. And although the chief has taken moral responsibility, and for that we all salute him, but nevertheless, I think we have to do a lot of soul searching down the line to see where we are missing out. Is it all human failure or is it material failure? And we must keep in mind that these submarines are 25 years plus old, so they are not new. And uh, we have not been able to replace these submarines uh, and every single submarine acquisition program is way behind schedule. But apart from that, there are possibilities of human errors in these accidents. Yeah. And boards of inquiry will bring these out. But, no, but, but the, on the 6th of February, the shouldn't no, have happened. on the 6th of February, Admiral Jacob, let me come to you. On the 6th of February, the defense minister said himself, he washed his hands off the increasing number of Navy accidents. And he himself said, if I'm not mistaken, that he could not give a 100% satisfaction certificate. So in that case, if that was the kind of reaction from the defense minister on the 6th of February, what really was the tipping point that led to this resignation? <clears throat> you know, I think uh, we need to look at this entire thing in certain amount of perspective. The Navy chief's resignation, I think, has been appreciated by all in the service saying that it is in the highest traditions of the naval service i admire admiral joshi i know him well he is a very upright professional officer and he has led the navy from up front and when things have really gone wrong due to circumstances quite a bit of which is well beyond his control he has still accepted the moral responsibility because he took on the task of leading this fine naval service. I admire him. No, no, but this is and not I about, think this is with this respect, by, uh, Admiral Jacob, this is not about nobody. Nobody has yes. questioned his professional competence, yeah. his integrity, and nobody has really I'm made him morally culpable. Yeah, for I'm this. aware the, the question is, the question yeah. is, let's but move I away from that, that to the, why these accidents the, happen. Who yeah, takes, I, I, agree. I, find it, I I will move away from no, that. No, I find it strange, for example, with uh, Admiral, that today the, the head of the Western Command of the Navy sits in his chair. He is the one who should also be held responsible but, for what has happened. I mean... The line of responsibility. Certainly, but Chief why? Why are we? Why are we, Mr. Anav Goswami? Why are we just focusing on just the Navy? You think that the Navy has come into this state because of only what is happening within the Navy? 
There is an environment which is outside the Navy which is totally unresponsive to the needs of the Navy. The Navy has been crying itself hoarse. They need various equipment. They need various refurbishment. They need a whole lot of equipment to even maintain the submarines that they have. The acquisition programs have been pathetically slow. Nothing comes on time. The decision making is so slow. There is, I, it is impossible for the Navy to come to grips with it. Yeah, but who takes responsibility? And I'm sorry to say. That, that's the that bureaucracy. The, Let's be direct. That's the bureaucracy. Yeah, the government must take responsibility. Well, the government's not bureaucracy taking responsibility. Bureaucracy has been clamping on everything. The government's not taking yeah, responsibility. There is no direct. The, no, there is no direct uh, contact between the, uh, the services and the, the uh, ministers. It's all through, the, all filtered through the bureaucracy. In fact, I don't think, I, I probably escaped everybody. We had a little seminar in Delhi in the IIC where we talked about civil military dissonance, India's Achilles heel. I don't think anybody took notice. But that's the serious issue. There is no single point uh, accountability. There is no single point uh, advice sir, that sir, the government you gets blame from the military. You blame the bureaucracy for everything. I'm just one second. You blame the bureaucracy for Not everything. Not just the bureaucracy. No, I no, blame no, no, the when, entire when, system. No, when, for example, that we are part of. No, no, we are I, also part of it. So, okay, but but tell me one thing. Yeah. That that you know in in December. Yes. Admiral Ud Commodore Uday Bhaskar will bear me yes. out on this one. I in December, if I'm not mistaken, a Coast Guard ship fired a live shell that went through the Naval Command Headquarters. Now, I'm not saying that the Navy is responsible for that. That's a Coast Guard yeah. incident. But it reflects one of those incidents for which, obviously, you can't blame the bureaucracy acquisition and, you know, state of the ships for what is going on. No, there is a certain level of human you come error. Up with some incident, some, some insignificant incident, but the point at issue is that the whole system needs a change. And whenever so, there is an accident, whether it's Sindhu Rakshak so, or Sindhu Ratna, there is a proper inquiry. And I must say one thing, that the naval chief did not wait for anything and he resigned. No, no, sir, sir, and I sir think that's what, who decides, decision, the naval but, no, who decides what is, if this had been okay. insignificant, but why did they decide Bhaskar? to accept it without uh, going into it? No, no, Unless, I, sir, I am not a... Bhaskar, I know very well. He has no. never served a day in, or at sea, to Who, start with. Who's never served a day at so sea? I, I don't, I don't, I'm sorry, he's never served a day at sea, as I know it. Okay? So that's the kind of uh, inputs that you are going by. You need to go by inputs from professionals who spend their lives at sea. Well, I can sir, understand sir, you're taking... Sir, Raja I'm sure that... I'm sure I can understand some of the others. No, no, one second. Ad Admiral, you are getting unnecessarily upset. I am saying here tonight that I, I, I think... I am not a, upset. The, I am not... This discussion is not on Commodore Uday Bhaskar, who is, by the way, a former director of the IDSA. It is not. In his own capacity, I am sure he has some perspective yes, here. Yes, we know all that. No, no. So you, don't, you don't have to tell me the, the history That's all right, Vice Admiral. Vice Admiral, you see, you are the Navy yeah, people, I am not. I am the, I'm the journalist I'd, asking the questions. Frankly, uh, uh, frankly, Mr. Arnav Goswami, I did not want to come on your channel. But I only have come because the incident that has taken place is so serious yeah. and a naval chief resigning, it's something that bothered me, upset me. It's a service that I love. I've yeah. served it for 44 so years. So you don't, you know... And I've seen every single war... Yeah, but let me tell you this, Vice part. Admiral... And I do not like the way that it's being bandied around, that there is something wrong with the service. There is nothing wrong. Why it is the environment with the service... Vice operates. Admiral, now you know, I'll tell okay? you one thing. And I think that's what you need to look at. Vice Admiral, please now please. the entire system. Vice Admiral, yeah. now you know something, Vice Admiral. This is not... Yeah, you, know, you, I, you, you don't like, you don't like somebody correcting you. That's the problem. I don't know, Vice Admiral, why you're losing your uh, hair over this. I don't think, I mean, I have asked you I'm any questions. I'm not losing, you're but losing Vice Admiral, your you know, I'm friend. not going to respond to, if you, please, just, just keep in mind, we are saying here tonight, no, all I'm, I'm, Vice if Admiral, you're, please, you're there, is, there must be a reason, the, no, you see, first of all, I made three observations. If you want to, I'll repeat my three observations. Nobody has yeah, questioned okay. the professional okay, competence. Tell me your three observations. No, one minute, one minute, please, you know, let's not get touchy. Nobody has questioned the professional competence of the Navy Chief. He is a man of great integrity. I have said myself that he is a man of great expertise. He yes. has had 38 years of an illustrious career behind him. He is a specialist Good. in anti-submarine warfare. Nobody says that the Navy is personally responsible yes. for all this. You're right. But at the same time, while we accept that many of the problems are with the preparedness, 
because of acquisitions being slowed and we all know how the bureaucracy of this country works. At the same time, I think it would not be inappropriate to ask with your permission to Admiral Commodore Uday Bhaskar and then to Admiral, uh, Vice Admiral Kailash Kohli that at one level, you know, these all the incidents since Sintu Rakshak which have happened, somewhere down the line has there been a level of callousness or has there been a level of carelessness which has led to the series of incidents because if, if that had not been the case and I know Vice Admiral PJ Jacob is getting upset but he would know that Captain Samir Saxena was showcased when the INS Mysore which was uh, w had an accident on the 9th of February. We also follow these cases sir. If there was no responsibility on the officer he would not have been showcased. Commodore Uday Bhaskar can we disregard that part. Arnav, if I could just back up, I think, to the original question that you had raised. And I think the fact is statistically now proven that from August of last year, when we had the INS Sindhu Rakshak tragedy to where we are today, the Sindhu Ratna, the Navy has gone through what I might call as a very challenging period. There have been incidents slash accidents yeah. that the media has focused on. And this is something that Admiral Joshi, as we have observed, has taken the responsibility and resigned. Now, when you say, why has this happened? I think each of these incidents can be disaggregated and examined very dispassionately. And each board of inquiry would give us some definitive conclusions. Human failure, material failure, or certain exigencies that are beyond the ken of the service and the naval chief. One example I often cite is in Mumbai, there is a requirement for periodic dredging of the harbour. Yeah. Now that has not happened due to a variety of reasons. Now so as a result, the window for ships and submarines to enter and exit harbour is shrinking. Yeah. And we had again an incident where a submarine had to bottom. And as soon as there was high tide, it was able to deploy as required. Now, that is the kind of example I'm citing, saying that each of them can be disaggregated quite objectively. But yes, as far as the perception at the national level is concerned, from August and the Sindhu Rakshak to the Sindhu Ratna today, there have been these incidents. Yeah, it Some of them, I dare say, are also due to material failure. Now, most of our submarines, including the Sindhu Ratna of today, is more than 25 years old. The Sindhu Ratna was commissioned in 1988. We have boats that are even older. So I think the larger question on Admiral Joshi's resignation is that A, no, if does the buck stop at the Naval Chief's desk? And two, this entire perspective planning why this, is it that we have not been able to induct new sir, platforms? Sir, I These think are the issues, I would say, about okay. higher no, defense no, but management. So let's, why, are, why, and why are we not being direct? You know, why are we not being direct? Why are we talking are around talking in circles? Like we know the problem. Yes, what are you saying? Uh, Admiral Jacob, no, you're saying... not in circles. Now I agree with what Uday Bhaskar is saying. He is talking like okay. a professional. Okay, great. That's now, right. Now, 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 Vice Admiral Kohli wants yeah, to come now, in. Yes, Vice now, Admiral Kohli. That is where the, the yes. true pinches. What I, what, what I want to say is, I, I do not wish to make any comments on anybody's personally. The fact is that 12 incidents have been clubbed together to show as if the Navy is going through a trauma over the last 12 months. This is not so. Some of the incidents just show error of judgment, like a ship running aground. It's bad seamanship, bad navigation, or a minor fire on a board, or a ship running into a trawler. These are not ma major incidents which should be clubbed together with something like. No, sir, which, but but a navy which Sindhu claims Rakshak. to have to a uh, navy which claims to want to be a blue water navy, how does it afford to have these incidents? It is a blue water. Navy. No, no, but one second. But how does it, it afford is a blue to water have water navy? No, how it does, does it? Not how does, does not merely it claim to be a blue water navy? Okay, so we are a blue water navy, but how does it afford to have so. this series of incidents? We but don't need anybody's certificate. Fine, for that. sir, but one minute, blue sir. Blue water navy. How, if you know, please, for, for God's sake, Admiral Jacob.